Praise the Lord. Jesus is the way and the truth and the life. And no man comes to the Father but through me, saith the Lord Jesus. Amen. Praise the Lord. Many people are preaching a false gospel today. Many people are attending false churches today. Many people are preaching a fake Jesus. This is nothing new. This is nothing new. They've been preaching a fake Jesus for thousands of years. Whilst molesting your children and taking your hard-earned money in baskets. You've been throwing your pennies and puddles to Mary, but where has it got you? Idolizing. Making statues, but where has it gotten you? Atrocity after atrocity after atrocity committed in the name of Christianity. Committed in the name of Jesus Christ. False churches, false prophets, wolves in sheep's clothing. And what do they do? They blaspheme the name of the Lord. The Bible says, God is not mocked, for whatsoever a man soweth, that he shall reap. Man is in, God is indeed not mocked. You know, the world calls it karma. But God simply says, you will reap what you sow. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever should believe in him would not perish, but have eternal life. Jesus is the way and the truth and the life, and no man comes to the Father but through me, saith the Lord. So how do we differentiate when we hear people saying, Jesus Christ is your Savior? But then they don't preach the gospel of Jesus Christ. They don't order their churches in the way they ought to order their churches according to the Holy Bible. So it's no surprise that people say, well, that's not good. That's not good. Because they don't obey the very book they claim is the Bible. Amen. Praise the Lord. The Bible says, Call no man father, but they call the priest father. They call the Pope Holy Father. They don't obey. They don't follow the Holy Scriptures. They, they order their church in a way that is disorderly, folks. It's not in obedience to the Holy Bible, to the Holy Scriptures. But we have hope and a future in Jesus Christ. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever should believe in him would not perish but have eternal life. There is hope and a future today for the people of Letterkenny. There is hope and love in the kingdom of God for the people of Letterkenny. But the people of Letterkenny have to come to the true Jesus Christ, not the constructed, the man-made Jesus that have been, has been in the churches of men for thousands of years. We need to return to true doctrine. We need to return to the Bible, to the true Jesus Christ of the Holy Scriptures, the true Jesus Christ of the kingdom of Israel, the true Jesus Christ of Nazareth. We need to return to the true Savior in order to be saved, to put our belief in Jesus Christ, the righteous, the one of the Holy Scripture, the one who has commanded men to follow Him. Well, what does it mean to follow Him? What does it mean to abide? Well, to abide is to obey. When you abide by the law, you're obeying the law. Amen? So when we abide in Jesus Christ, we obey Jesus Christ. It's very simple. But they say, well, we know Jesus. Look, look at our Bible. We have the Bible. We know Jesus. That's what they say, Letter Kenny. They say, we have Jesus. We, we have the Bible. So it must be Jesus. Well, the Bible says even the demons believe and tremble. So what does this mean? 
even the demons believe and tremble, means that they know who Jesus is, but they don't believe in Him, they don't abide in Him. They don't know Him. That's what it means to believe in. You can believe that something is true, but there's a difference believing in something, or in someone. Say, yes, I believe that that man is a judge. Or you can say, I believe in him as a judge. He's a fair judge. He's a righteous judge. He makes fair judgments. You see, there's believing that and believing in. And believing in Jesus Christ is different to believing that Jesus Christ. You can believe that Jesus Christ died on the hill of Calvary. It doesn't mean that you will necessarily believe in him and trust in him for salvation. So there's a difference. Just because you mention his name doesn't mean you have a relationship. Just because you know of him doesn't mean you obey him. And so what I'm saying to you today, if your church is not obeying the Holy Scriptures, then it is not in fellowship with Jesus Christ. It's not in relationship with him. It can't be in relationship with him and relationship with the world at the same time. You cannot eat from the table of demons and the table of the Lord. So you have to make a choice. The Bible says, choose ye this day whom ye will serve. Choose ye this day whom ye will serve. Are you going to be in relationship with men or are you going to be in relationship with the Lord? Are you favoring what men think about you or are you concerned about what the Lord Jesus thinks about you? Are you looking for uh, you know, re uh, reviews online? Are you looking on men to give you a, a good testimony? Well, on the Day of Judgment, it will only matter whether Jesus is advocating for, for the, um, with the Father for you on your behalf. It only matters whether Jesus is interceding for you on the Day of Judgment. So what is of utmost importance is your relationship with Jesus Christ because if your vertical relationship is not good with the Lord, how can your horizontal relationship be good with your neighbor? So people who are, go who are frequenting these false churches, you're not fooling anybody. You're not fooling anybody with your colorful haircuts and your colorful clothes and your come on in for a cup of tea and cakes. Who are you kidding? Wolves in sheep's clothing. Who are you fooling? You're not fooling the Lord. You're not mocking the Lord. You're not mocking the Lord's sheep. Because the Bible says, God is not mocked for whatsoever a man soweth, letter Kenny, that he shall reap. God is not mocked for whatsoever a man soweth, that he shall reap. So I tell you this day, people of letter Kenny, people of Ireland, people of the Western world, you're not fooling anybody with your false churches. It's no surprise the churches are closed on lockdown because they belong to the world. Is it not clear to you? They obey their master. Lockdown, put your mask on, lockdown. Would you believe in Jesus for salvation? Would you believe in Jesus for preservation? Would you believe in Jesus for redemption because Jesus can protect you he can keep you well he can keep you healthy he is the great physician the one who can protect you against all of your enemies the one who shuts the mouth of lions the ones who walk the one who walks on water the one who raises the dead heals the sick makes the blind to see Allows the deaf to hear, the lame to walk. He heals the sick. It is Jesus Christ. Have you forgotten who he is? You need a piece of paper or a bit of a t-shirt to cover your shrone and your schmig? Jesus is almighty, letter Kenny. Wake up. Remember who Jesus is. Because you're running out of time. 
You're running out of time. If you die this day in your lukewarm, fake Christianity, you're going to burn in hellfire. I'm giving you a warning today, Letter Kenny. Jesus Christ is not mocked. I'm calling sinners to repentance. You cannot be living in fear and living in faith at the same time. Fear and faith are opposites. The Bible tells us in Revelation 21.8 that the fearful will inherit their place in the lake of fire. I read it from the, from the King James Bible here. Revelation 21.8. I'll read it for you. It says, But the fearful and unbelieving and the abominable and murderers and whoremongers, folks, and sorcerers and idolaters and all liars, sorcery, pharmakia, you're vaping, you're smoking cigarettes, your drugs, sorcery, pharmakia, and idolaters, and all liars shall have their part in the lake which burneth with fire and brimstone, which is the second death. No man has the power to condemn you but Jesus Christ himself. No man. Don't make the mistake of thinking that I'm condemning you. I'm calling you through Jesus Christ in love. This is what love looks like. This is what love looks like because hell is a real place prepared for the devil and his angels.